Religious institutions never like people finding the answers to their own questions. They do not like when people challenge their authority by expressing new ideas through inventions, science, art and philosophy. And this was what exactly happening during the period of the Renaissance. The new Europe was being born. Renaissance is the period of European history which covers the span between the 14th to 17th century. So why do we call Renaissance the rebirth of Europe? In the Middle Ages, European countries created new identities for themselves. They were no longer the part of fallen Roman Empire. They moved away from the lost glory of Roman Empire into their own ethnicity. Roman Catholic Church defined itself as the spiritual protect of the Christian believers, but many Christians of Middle Ages started questioning the logic or the rules of religious institutions. Europeans were asking questions which Roman Catholic Church was unwilling to answer or was unable to answer. During the Renaissance, bright minds tried to find answers or reasons for human existence based on logic rather than faith. They engaged themselves in the experimentation to answer the unsolved mysteries of nature. A painter like Leonardo da Vinci did not restrict himself to just painting. He studied the anatomy of the human body. Bright minds like Galileo presented the study which showed that the earth was not the center of the universe and that the earth and other planets revolve around the sun. He built a telescope which proved his conclusions. However, discoveries of Galileo were against the church and its belief that the earth was the center of the universe. Galileo faced many problems because of that. But how could he believe the church when the telescope had shown him the truth? Before the Renaissance, for centuries, the church did not allow people to study subjects like anatomy of the human body, astronomy and many other subjects. Religious institutions always tried to project the church and God as an answer to all the questions and mysteries. Learning new things of science, literature, philosophy and art were limited to few privileged people until 1400 AD. But when in 1440, Johannes Gutenberg invented the Gutenberg printing press which could print books quickly, the spread of knowledge became faster than ever before. It was just like the invention of the internet. Just like how today we have access to the wide ocean of knowledge because of the internet, the renaissance gave ordinary humans of Europe a chance to access knowledge, a chance to find answers, a chance to solve unsolved mysteries of nature and a chance to develop new ideas. The bold new ideas were travelling across the boundaries of Europe faster than the church could silence them. People started questioning the corrupt practices happening under the name of religion. Many denied the hierarchy of power, authority and politics being played inside religious institutions to maintain or to gain authority. This was the birth of humanism against old beliefs and rules. The very humanism which inspired the art of Michelangelo, the science of Vesalius and the literature of Shakespeare and Caravantes. But this revolutionary change, this disruption to the authority of religious institutions did not come easily. It brought many bloody massacres and conflicts with it. Many European countries were split into Catholics and Protestants. Religious institutions throughout the Europe were executing people who asked questions that violated the religious teachings. Renaissance was the era where people showed their willingness to die for the right to think freely. In the second episode of the Renaissance, I have explained how was the life of European people during the Renaissance. The life in medieval Europe is explained in the very detailed manner in the second episode of the Renaissance. Everything from the social life in the medieval Europe, the Renaissance art, literature, music, to the medieval European politics and bloody wars like the Hundred Years War and the War of Three Henrys is included in the episode 2. So do not forget to watch episode 2 of the Renaissance.